Just a relic. Thank you for joining. All right. Looks like we got a full game. Let's go ahead and balance teams up. And let's go ahead and get this thing going, shall we? Let's do it. Now, I wonder if Dragain's going to pull out the Nisa. I Generally not. I mean, I know Dragain likes to rant. Oh, God. There's the Ronin. You got to figure we're going to see some Ronin here, so. Of course. Eh, that reminds me. I got to pull up the, the Shaper's Guild, get the ability names down, because uh, I don't really know them all yet. That's right. Neither do I. So on the Mortal team, we have Artie Uni. Battler Man, Chester Relic, Moxie Whimsy, Brandon B. And on the spirit team, we have Captain Windsauce, Dragon, the Steel Arab, Sifu, and Zlopst. Whatever. Zlopst, <laughs> oh yeah. Zlopst, Zlopst. Alright, so I knew Injection, I knew both. The other two are on the house and Reckoning. Okay. Got it. Maybe not. I'll probably, I'll probably forget. Dragging saying uh, the new Shaper is a tank. <laughs> oh, God. Is this really going to be tank, Ronin? Because that would be hilarious if it was. Well, I mean, we did see him. I mean, he did win Best Easter World, so he clearly knows how to play carry. So, I don't know, man. Uh, Austin P., are you wearing a suit? Yes, I am. I always cast in a suit. I feel better casting in a suit. I perform better that way, so that's exactly what we do. Let's go over the uh, shapers here. On the mortal team, we've got Artie Uni playing Mina. And then we have Ballerman playing Basco. Jester Relic playing Kensu. Moxie Whimsy playing Desecrator. Brendan B playing Nissa. And then on the spirit team, we have Captain Windsauce playing Ashabelle. Support Ashabelle. Dragon playing Gladiator. Ronin, which should be interesting. And then we have the Steel Arab in the jungle with Moya. Sifu playing Support. Sakari and Zlobst playing Gladiator Vex, the Doge. Well, it's this is wondering, so who's going to be protecting the Doge? I mean, I guess Ashabel and Sakari can provide enough peel for Zlobst. And Ronin, well, Ronin can just take care of himself, to be, be completely honest, with all his mobility. I mean, he's a little rough early game before he gets levels in Bolt, but... And, I, I and honestly, I mean, do you max so anything so other than Bolt on Ronin ever? I can't see it. I mean, I just think your first... Points always go into bold, I would have to think. And yeah, Ronan going to the to the hard lane, that makes absolute sense. If you got a Vex, you always want to give him the safe lane. Well, they they have two hard, hard... Like, no mobility shapers. They have Ashabel and Vex on the same team. <laughs> along with Sakari and Ronan. I mean, Boya's going to have her job cut out for her to uh, protect those squishies. Mm -hmm. So basically, Especially with the, with, with the other team having Moya and a Basco. Yeah, the, the Basco, I think, is going to cause some trouble for the Spirit team. Because he can just leap in, you know, drop down his Unbreakable, slow them all. I mean, because, I mean, the Vex and the Ashabel really don't have any mobility. I yeah, I mean, Ashabel can knock back the Basco, but that doesn't do anything about the, the slow that the Unbreakable puts on her. So... I don't know, then Basco, because so you don't get away from them. Oh, sorry, go ahead. You about the jungle? Sorry, junglers are going standard standard starts right now. Um, looking at the lanes, we have uh, the mortal side with a... Uh, uh oh Dragon getting a little frisky here. Yep, yeah, we got Kensu and Valor Man, which is Basco and Desecrator. I got confused there, because I thought Desecrator was going to jungle for a second. <laughs> but Basco is in the jungle. Well, I mean, Jungle Desi's real, man. That change to his passive, the amount of damage he can do. What is that passive called, anyway, again? That passive is called Mind Rot. That can do some serious damage to Jungle Creeps. I mean, even at level 1, let's mouse over it here. Uh, it's 33 modus magic damage. So, Look that'll make... Look at hitting all those, all those shards. Ugh, so good. Yeah, all those Ice Lances. One of the few shapers in Dawngate where you can just mash buttons and it ends and, up and working out for you as long as you hit them. Mash that Q all day long. Well, at least until you run out of frost, and then you're kind of screwed, but that is the... Yeah, we are going to see Moya invade the enemy armor, so we'll see how Basco reacts to that. I mean, do you blame Moya for invading the enemy armor? It's Moya. I mean, she basically lives in the enemy's jungle with her clear speed. I mean, my god. Yeah, Moya is one who counter, who counter jungles often. 
It's oh yeah, I was gonna say maybe the top lane for the mortal team could have rotated over and helped, but they were pushed under their binding. They couldn't really leave either, so. Well, they didn't have it warded either, so. Even if they knew about they it, might they. Not even know. Yeah, even if they knew about it, which they didn't. Um. Oh wow. It's alright, Basco. It happens. Happens to everybody, battle man. I've I've. I've died to money pigs before. Actually, I did that in a bot game earlier today. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, Ronin Dragon is playing Ronin. Yeah. Ooh. Well, at least the uh, death timers. Yeah, that's it's those jungle camps could do significantly more damage to you than you thought. What did he start with here? He did start a resilience. And, oh, he's running a Ravager, Outrider, Hoplite. He's got no health in his loadout. No wonder. Yeah, if you don't have health in your loadout, you got to be really careful early game. For my jungler page for Basco, I like to carry 6% uh, lifesteal. Ah. For survivability. Well, honestly, if you have 6% lifesteal, you can jungle just about anything, really. I mean, I know I've run into a yeah. jungle Ashabel before that just absolutely destroyed me, and it was an 8% life drain page on her. Oh, you gotta do your overlay. Oh, yeah. I mean, my god. Which one is it? Is it... S yeah, there it is. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna remember this one of these days. Really gonna remember this one of these days. Sometimes I feel the stream just trolls me long enough to see how long into the game can it go before Terrelta realizes he needs to change his overlay. See, the use of the injection from Dragon being able to predict the... Uh, it Tomb's coming in. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Top lane, the mortal side. It, it looks like they're losing both lanes. Yeah, they are hard. It's. And I see a classic mistake coming in from the Nisa and the Mina there. You know, they, they the Gale went down and they both walked into it. It's like when you have a Ashabel, you don't want to stand together. You don't want to give them the free two shots there. And, uh oh, Dragon kind of low there, but. It's Ronin. He's going to get away just fine. Relic's kind of low. He's slowed up by Sakari, but Dragon just wasn't in position to punish it. Although that ward down from Sifu is going to allow him to land a little bit of harass on the Moxie Whimsy. Does he want to keep going? No, the Desecrated Ground will land on him here. And just watch Sifu just kiting the binding line just like that. But once the creeps got the lane, uh, it'll keep blocking his ice lance, so he doesn't, he's not able to land the shots of Desecrator. But as soon as they get out of the way, you see, you know, he's just able to land them as much as he wants. And Moya is level 6, but unfortunately both her lanes are pushed in, so she's not going to have an easy time ganking. No, definitely not. Mina looks to be in a little bit of trouble here. I know the Ashbow was the one at half health, but I wasn't really worried about her there. Uh-oh, Desi. Nah, nothing's going to happen with him. Well, so what do you do if you're Moya in this case? Do you just go back to the jungle and just keep farming and push your uh, experience and money advantage even more? Well, I think I would have waited for my bot lane to push into the tower and then come in from behind the enemy team's wells and then try and tower dive. Ah. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, but then again, you are known for going just slightly ham in these. Go hard to go home. <laughs> exactly. Speaking of going ham, there's Steel Arab, but uh, apparently the Smart Cam decides that that's not really worth watching right now. There's a little scuffle going on right now. Desecrator obviously going to make it known that Steel Arab is standing in a ward. So since Steel Arab obviously knows he was standing on a ward, he's going to go back and do something else. Maybe try to do something with his top lane, uh, since uh, Mortal is finally pushing up a little bit uh, on that top lane. And by pushing up, I mean going to neutral. There's a landfall, picking him up, throwing him down. There should be all the skill shots there. And is that going to get Brandon? No. It looks like he'll get away. Just the barely, though. Was perfectly placed. Yes, it was. Ashbell got low, but last finding shot did not happen. No, it certainly did not. Jung Relic there. There's the avalanche down, and that'll be the kill. Sifu, first blood. 19 well, FPS, you might want to lower some settings. Yeah, I, I probably could. A 
Let's go to medium. Ambassador goes in on Sifu. Yeah, Sifu will go down for and this for. It was the burn that got him. The burn got her, yep. And Dragon looks like he'll just be able to kite this out here. Maybe not. No, he's got a blink. I don't blame him one second for that. Ronin's pretty slippery, but, I mean, it's Basco, so, you know. Well, Medium brought it to 22, so... Yeah, I don't know what's going on with my computer today, guys. It's just, like, just the, the RAM usage right now is just absolutely ridiculous. This should be a little bit better. I don't really want to go to low. I, I will if I have to, but... Kinda, kinda sketch. Yeah, it's got to be the stream. I, I do agree. All right, well, since we've got a little bit of lull right now, uh, do you want to look at some items? Uh-oh, never mind. Our Toonie caught out, but having to use the key to the heart defensively just to be able to get out of there. Yeesh. Yeah, Vex uses it up, so that'll be down for, I don't know, 80 seconds or so? Well, I mean, you can always just select him and mouse over it, and it'll tell you how long it'll be down. See, Vex in this case is T on your spectator overlay, and it's got an 86.1 second cooldown. Oh god, that Shatter doing serious work there. Uh, Relic having to pop the Void Breaker on Dragon just to make sure he doesn't follow up on Moxie oh, Wimby, but going Sifu in. going hard. Yeah. Got him, buddy. Is he going to get out? Nope. Kill shot to clean him up. I don't know if that was so worth it. <laughs> I, I don't think it was at all. Do you have Google Chrome or some other browser up? Yeah, but that's the only way I can see chat, man. I can close some things in chat. And Bass is gonna try and gank top, but the spirit side sees it. Mm -hmm. So right now we're gonna look at items. Uh, we've got Dragon getting going, quick ambition. Uh, Captain Windsauce on Ashabel picks up Vigor first. We'll see if he goes Prosperity and Steel Arab just got a Vengeance first. Interesting pick by Desecrator. He got control, early control. That should be interesting. Interesting control. I'm not sure I like that. Vex with four times. Yeah. The Ash Ball goes down, and then the blink by Asherfeld gets gets the kill. Dragon rotates Dragon up. In. He'll get Artuni. Yeah, Artuni. Yeah. There we go. Yep. Wow. The Thrums are real right now. Vex yeah, for sure. Right there. Look at that ward placement that he just placed. That's been a lot of coverage. Oh yeah, that, those Ronin wards are are really good. Uh oh, Sifu's gonna jump. I don't know, man. Here's where that control comes into play because that Basco was so slow, he couldn't go anywhere. <laughs> okay. And I don't think anybody else dies from this. I, it's it's the two Otter can. You're not gonna catch them. And looks like Whimsy gonna go down. Yeah, Whimsy will go down too. So definite advantage for the Spirit Team. And Basco, you are in the wrong part of town here, because they'll just dive you. I don't think they care at this point. Nah, I sure don't. So that's gonna cost them that bottom Spirit well at the very least. Yeah, it's only 11 minutes in, so it'll just be collateral damage. True. Oh, it'll cost them a haste buff too. Oh wow. Look at the mortal team's ward coverage. It is so aggressive. Yeah, they just gotta stop getting caught out. I mean, I say the mortal team. The spirit team. Oh, I was gonna say, wait a minute. Yeah, I'm looking at the, the spirit, spirit team's team. ward. Yeah, mortal doesn't have really many wards out at all. I see three on the map for mortal team. And they are not aggressive at all. But yeah, take a look at these two wards here. We've got... Oh no, the Artuni goes out. The final flight will go across, but not going to be able to pick up Dragon. He's still slowed. He was a little early on that injection. Uh, speaking of aggressive wards, there's another one coming out by Sifu there. Voidbreak will go down onto Dragon. Steel Abra will go up to uh, make sure nothing else happens from it. And hi, Vex says hi. You want some splintering spines? Oh, barely misses the sun. Oh no. Dragon at no health. What are you doing, buddy? You gotta get out of here, bro. One little bit of poke and you're gone. But I guess he knows that. I guess Dragon likes living on the edge. Oh, God. 
Guys, please don't talk about surrender like this. You can you can make this come back. You can run it back. I've seen worse things. Uh, come, I've seen teams come back from worse. Oh God, Dragon. Yeah. Yeah, this Vex is just out of control right now, and all he's got is a bunch of times. Look at his skill build. That's all he needs with his grievous wounds, man. That's all he needs. Yeah, look at the skill build, though. He didn't even take Skewer at all. He has no points in Skewers. He's got four grievous wounds, four jagged volley, and two splintering spines. And now he upgrades to an ambition and an abolition. So, wow. Pasco with the early glory. Uh, Catan Asian says Dragon the, is the only good Ronin I've seen so far. Yeah, uh, J Dragon's a pretty good ADC. We've we've seen him. Uh, like I said, I mean he did just win Best Nisa World, so he, he does he does know his carries. Oh Moya coming up here trying to contest Badlerman's uh, buff and Badlerman. Like, you know what? I really don't want to fight you, Moya. Not when you're up two levels and what kind of items is he up? Uh, never mind. I guess he does want to fight. Moyo end up securing that I mean, with a vanquish. Basco. Yeah. Mina Basco, that's a big thing. It is. I believe. They're going in, but I don't think they want to chase Moyo. The support, <laughs> support from the spirit team is coming in hard. Yeah. All these rotations coming in from spirit. Moyo picks somebody up, throw him down. And it's just, what do you do if you're the... Yes. What do you do if you're the mortal team right now? This Vex is just destroying right now, and he's only level 11. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, mortal team's got the... I mean, Brendan's got the right idea. He picked up a Wither. That's that's definitely one part of the equation. Somebody's going to have to figure... When, when Vex, like, pops his ult, you have to back away and just wait for it to go down before you go back in. Well, we were talking about these early parasites before the stream started, and sure enough, this one's going to be a little bit of an early parasite. Although I might have waited the 20 seconds or so. Wait. Yeah, I yeah. was going to say 20 seconds. <laughs> now I go ahead and get the stage two, so that way you know you actually get the buff along with the Vim bounty. Yeah, even uh, Dragon saying there could have waited eight seconds, but YOLO. Uh, no, it's best Nisa world, man. Uh, Dragon is. Gosh, where does he live? I don't remember now. He's in Europe. I know he's in Europe, but I'm just trying to remember where in Europe. I think somebody said he's in, like, Sweden or something? I don't know. I'm sure he'll chime in when he hears it. Vex's loadout? Good. Let's look. Vex's loadout. Oh, God. The 34% haste. Had to know that. And Relic will come in. He'll pick up. No, the blink will make sure that Captain Winsaw stays alive. I thought Kenzu had a double there for sure. So did I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that blink just said, nope. Battler man. No, I don't think anything's going to happen there. He is, but he'll get to the safety of his binding. No problem, man. Oh, boy. Shenanigans. Ah. Oh. That was almost an epic face check. Oh, oh my god, that splintering spine just... Yeah, yeah goodbye, Mina. Yeah, you do get uh, Vim for a Parasite early. You very much you do. In fact, it was changed so that you only get Striders on the Tier 3 evolution, which is 25 minutes into the game. Correct. Tier 1 is just Vim. Tier 2 is Vim and Parasite buff. And Tier 3 is... Go, Vim, Buff, and mm -hmm. yeah. Alright, yeah, so what do you do if you're mortal team here? I know we've got, in this case, so there's two weathers. Uh, Moxie, Whimsy, and Brendan got the wither. The other part of the equation for Stop and Vex is Equilibrium and Ottomans. But who do you think gets them? But the only problem with Ottomans is you got to get on the Vex. And I don't think you can really do that. Not when uh, Moyo just pick you up and throw you down as soon as you go for it. Yeah, I mean, you really have to have five people and, and outnumber them. That's the only way you can come back from this. Mm -hmm. So, the as, as long as the spare team stays together, they should have no problem in this game. 
Oh, Dragon caught out a little bit here. I think they might get Dragon. No, never mind. Here comes Vex coming up. Artunia will pick him up, but there's a full health level 14 Vex right in the back line. Picking up a triple kill with the splintering spines. Just wow. Yeah, five level advantage on Vex usually doesn't end well for you. I'm assuming he's going to pick up Ruin the next item when he goes back. Well, does he even really need to? I mean, the, the, these other guys are so low level, they don't really have any health. I mean, I'd, I'd almost rather see a Betrayal or something like that. I'm, I'm almost thinking the Betrayal might actually do more than the Ruin at this point, given the, the levels on the Mortal team. Then again, it could just be me. Jokobo's X, I feel like snowballing is a lot easier now. Yeah, yeah I, I would agree with that. It probably is a little bit easier. But, I mean, is that necessarily a bad thing? I mean, if you dominate the early game, you should be able to close out the game relatively quickly. I mean, that's one of the things that Dongate wanted to do. But, yeah, and there's this Vex just coming in. Avalanche goes down, and the Splintering Spine is just going across the entire mortal team. They're gone. Yep, yeah, Wow, they didn't even get the Vex. Be gracious and Desi got on top of the Vex. And the Chilling Presence is definitely good for slowing down the Vex, but... Right idea, I think it just took a little bit too long to get going, really. Yeah, the Mortal team needed to use their Moya and Basco advantage early. You mean where uh, Basco just bullies around Moya? Mm-hmm. Moya just follows Basco. 